We've just discovered that there's a, a measurement of dark matter in oh. the universe that seems to show that the standard model of physics is awry. Uh, Josh, explain yourself. I blame you personally. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of stuff in the universe that the astronomers can't see, and so it's called dark matter because they can't see it because it's not emitting any light. Great but they name. know it's there because it, yeah, they know it's there. And the reason they know it's there is because if it wasn't there, the universe would just have flown apart already. Uh, so it's got to be there with gravity kind of keeping everything together. And uh, what this found out, um, what, what this uh, 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 recent study uh, seems to suggest at the beginning is that um, uh, something's wrong. Like they can't count enough of it or uh, uh, they... Um, uh, uh, it, it seems to be having a bigger effect than they can kind of account for. Uh, but I will say that this is also one of those things where uh, you're going to have to wait 10 years for the answer because right. uh, this project is is only just beginning. They've only analyzed 10% of the data that they've collected. So, wow. uh, you By know, my math, that's not even half. Uh, you're Josh, right. It, it, <laughs> it would seem that like... Um, I, I think it's interesting to uh, to talk particularly to scientists about this because it seems like this is a conundrum that science faces because of its attention to detail and uh, getting the facts right. When something is wrong, it throws off a whole series of conclusions and extrapolations <laughs> based on that one fact that uh, that doesn't seem to be the place it is. How do you deal with that as a scientist? How do you deal with that chaos within uh, these very uh, uh, highly studied systems? Well. People don't realize that science is a messy process, right? I, I mean, you know, it's always three steps forward, two steps back. Um, and uh, uh, in fact, I, I have some experience with this in my own career. Uh, many years ago, I helped write a paper that said the oceans were cooling. Um, and it turned out to be totally wrong. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh and for that, Rush Limbaugh uh, called me an idiot leftist scientist. But that's neither, <laughs> that's a story for another day. But, uh, uh, but, you know, it turns out that oftentimes, you know, the way science is really established, and this is what you have to remember, is that it's not just one scientific discovery that changes the whole world. Um, something gets discovered and then people double check it and they go back and they look at the uh, weight of all the evidence and they do more experiments and and uh, try to poke holes in it. Um, scientists spend at least half their career picking on other scientists, uh, <laughs> probably more than they do just making new results happen. So uh, it's a very adversarial, very messy process. And over time, we come to know things very, very well. And so, for example, with global warming, it's not like somebody just discovered, hey, this is happening. Uh, it's, the, it's the weight of all these thousands and thousands of discoveries and people rehashing the data and, and uh, scrutinizing it and, and, um, and going through it. And what's happening here with the dark matter is that they're uh, still at the beginning of that process. All right, that's a, that's a great answer. I, 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 I always feel like people uh, who accuse the scientific uh, community of conspiring uh, to promote the idea of uh, climate change, it's a little like uh, accusing the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears of conspiring to play a football game. Uh, the, it's, it's not a team process. It's adversarial, and people don't get along. It's uh, actually kind of funny to watch the Poindexters fight. Am I right? <laughs> oh, yes. There's nothing like seeing nerds beat each other up. Nerd fight! <laughs>